本台消息，近期湖北省武汉市等多个地区发生新型冠状病毒感染的肺炎疫情。今天上午十点，国务院新闻办公室举行新闻发布会，邀请国家卫健委副主任李斌介绍新型冠状病毒感染的肺炎防控工作有关情况。截至一月二十一号的二十四点，国家卫健委收到国内十三个省区市累计报告新型冠状病毒感染病例四百四十例，报告死亡病例累计九例。The Guangzhou Flower Market, with a history of more than 600 years, was crowded with local residents buying flowers as always. The flowers mean good luck, and the Cantonese were looking forward to the Chinese New Year. The staff of China's Southern Power Grid were busy on the power supply. More than three million people returned to their hometown to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Some twelve million people chose to stay in Guangzhou. At 20.36 p.m., the Guangdong Province Health Committee decided to initiate a major public health emergency, Level 1 response. The Guangdong Province Health Committee decided to initiate a major public health emergency, Level 1 response. The Guangdong Province Health Committee decided to initiate a major public health emergency, Level 1 response. The Guangdong Province Health Committee decided to initiate a major public health emergency, Level 1 response. The Guangdong Province Health Committee decided to initiate a major public health emergency, Level 1 response. Suddenly, a city pause button had been pressed in Guangzhou. Citizens responded to the government's call by staying home. Control measures were also implemented in densely populated places, such as shopping malls, squares, commercial districts, cultural and entertainment venues. There was a silence in Guangzhou that had not been seen before even during the SARS event in 2003. The whole city launched focused disinfection processes in the communities where confirmed cases occurred. The people of Guangzhou lit up LED screens on many landmark buildings such as 
海珠 Bridge、Guangzhou Tower、海印 Bridge、列德 Bridge and other iconic buildings to quietly cheer for Wuhan and China. 477 couples chose to register for their marriages on Valentine's Day. All couples wore masks, but were happy. The city's public transportation system gradually began to resume operation. <laughs> 为了提供充分的保障，请扫描车窗内的防疫行车灯。The radio on the buses continuously broadcast information regarding the fight against COVID-19, reminding passengers to actively cooperate with the driver to have their body temperature checked to ensure the health of all people. The subway stations were equipped with fixed body temperature detection systems, allowing the staff to detect the passengers' body temperature in real time, which significantly improved the detection speed and accuracy. There were more private vehicles moving on the streets. Today, Mom, what time will you bring me to Li Fa? Tomorrow. Tomorrow to Li. 下午六点前。Today was the first day of school. The education system began to use online platforms such as the internet and television to launch online courses. 嗯，简单先介绍他的生平啊。我们说弗拉哈迪，他是英国爱尔兰人，呃，然后他的哪一部被称为第一部纪录片，就是他拍摄的一个《北方纳鲁克》。To combat the spread of COVID-19, communities have adopted a closed management system. All personnel entering the communities must have their body temperature measured to ensure it is below 37.3 degrees centigrade. At the same time, the government have launched a mini program called Sui Kang to trace the trajectory of resident activities. This ensured that when there is a confirmed case in the local community. The spread range and potential affected population are accurately tracked. The Guangzhou Supply and Marketing Cooperatives requires workers to wear protective wear and face masks throughout the process of collecting clothing recycling bins and ensure old clothing is disinfected in an appropriate manner. According to relevant regulations formulated by the Guangzhou City Management Comprehensive Bureau of Law Enforcement in response to the epidemic situation, sanitation workers are required to wear work clothes or protective clothing and masks 
during working hours and ensure all sanitation equipment are properly cleaned. In addition, during garbage collection and transfer, workers must also wear protective clothing and masks and decontaminate all the vehicles. The whole city has set up specific bins to collect used face masks. Sanitation workers must wear protective wear and face masks during bin collection and disinfection processes. In view of the high risk of waste hazards during the epidemic period, as well as a reduction in the amount of waste, the city of Guangzhou decided to completely close their landfill services. All garbage generated during this period is not landfill and instead is transported to one of the city's six waste incineration plants for cremation. This prevents the spread of the epidemic caused by garbage and significantly improves the level of environmental sanitation operations and management in Guangzhou. For the first time, the number of patients recovered from COVID-19 nationwide surpassed the number of newly confirmed patients. The response level of major public health emergencies in Guangdong province was adjusted from primary to secondary. Many citizens walked out of their homes wearing face masks. With the increase in the number of pedestrians, Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport is actively undergoing epidemic prevention and decontamination. Temperatures were checked for every passenger entering the airport, and a safe queuing distance of one meter is required between people. Any equipment that may cause cross-contamination is subjected to disinfection throughout irregular intervals. All 41 face mask manufacturing equipments in Guangzhou Automobile Group Company Limited were put into production. The daily output of masks reached 600,000 and the cumulative output was 10 million. While fulfilling the internal requirements of the organization, masks were also donated to the citizens of Guangzhou and overseas partners. Employee restaurants use QR code scanning and interval dining to prevent and control the spread of the epidemic and ensure that employees can eat safely. As of March 9th, all nine vehicle manufacturers of Guangzhou Automobile Group Company Limited had resumed operation, and the overall production capacity had been restored by 60%. The reinstatement rate of component suppliers reached 96%, and the reinstatement rate of logistics suppliers had reached 89%. 94% of automotive sales resumed their business. Ongoing construction projects in Guangzhou resumed after applying necessary epidemic prevention measures. 
as of March 15th, the city's 3,445 construction projects resumed at a rate of more than 90 percent, with all 995 key projects resuming operation. Using their green health QR codes, the residents of Guangzhou can conduct the required business in government service centers after having their body temperature taken. Risk levels across all districts in Guangzhou were reduced to low risk. Restaurant dine-in businesses were fully open. Citizens wearing masks whose temperatures were normal were allowed to enter the restaurant after registration. Children were running on the streets. People were playing in the parks. The city had restored its vitality. But the epidemic was not over. People still wore masks. Spring has come to Guangzhou, and K-pop is in bloom. We would continue to record.